a and b are integers and a cube plus b cube all over a plus b equal to one and we want to find a and b all possible values of a and b in first step you should know famous identity that a cube plus b cube equal to a plus b and a squared minus a b plus b squared now let's write the equation again we factorize numerator a squared minus a b plus b squared all over a plus b equal to now because a plus b is in the denominator we can cancel because for example if you cross multiply a plus b is on both sides of equation you can divide then a plus b is not zero a plus b is in the denominator so you can cancel now in next step we can conclude what we can conclude a squared minus a b plus b squared equal to one then I want to use a famous identity that x minus y squared equal to x squared plus y squared minus 2xy. Because I have negative ab, I multiply by 2, then I have 2a squared. Negative 2ab plus 2b squared equal to 2. Now I want to use this. So, next step, instead of 2a squared, I write it as a squared plus a squared minus 2ab and again instead of b squared i write b squared plus b squared equal to 2. now this part is exactly equal to this part so we can write it as what a minus b squared so it will be a squared plus a minus b squared plus b squared equal to 2. here we know a and b are integers, and we know all of them are greater than or equal to zero. If one of them be, um, each of them can be positive or negative one or zero. Because for example, if one of them be two, two squared four, then left hand side will be greater than or equal to four, but right hand side is two. So we can conclude a can only be zero, positive one, negative one. If a is 0, we know b also can be 0, positive 1, negative 1. If b is 0, then left hand side will be 0. It's not good. But if b is plus minus 1, then we can say, okay, this one is 0. a minus b squared will be 1. b squared will be 1. 1 plus 1, 2. It works. If a is 1, b can be 0. It's okay because it will be 1 squared plus 1 squared is 2. Now, if B is 1, then 1, it will be 1. It will be 1, it will be 0. Again, it's okay. If B is negative 1, it will be 1. A squared, B squared will be 1. If B is negative 1, and this one will be 1 minus minus 1. 2 squared 4 is bad. So we have these two cases. And if A is negative 1, again, B 0 is okay. And if B is negative 1, this one will be 1, 1. This one will be 0. It's okay. If B is positive 1, this one 1. This one 1. This one will be 2 squared 4. It's bad. So we found 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 answers for this problem. But one thing that we should pay attention. A plus B shouldn't be 0. And if you check all the cases, 0 in first one, 0 plus 1, 0 minus 1. Here 1 plus 0, 1 plus 1. Here negative 1 plus 0, negative 1 plus negative one so if you consider all cases all of them satisfy the equation okay so if you want to learn more ideas like this and also want to learn harder ideas easier ideas you can send message feel free to send message to my whatsapp number in the description and comments to learn important ideas in combinatorics algebra number theory Geometry in complex numbers want to prepare yourself for calculus exams like AP or Olympiad exams like IMO, BMO for British, AMC for America, AME, USAMO if you want to learn them. 
as I said before, send message to my WhatsApp number and please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, and like the video. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.